people please come to your next chart now the next chart which you are going to do is composition levy everyone b graded chapter i expect 4 to 5 marks to be asked out of this chapter a b graded chapter let's go ahead and get it started everyone over here composition levy see let's go ahead and take a quick linking we started learning gst with goods or service goods or service has to be supplied supply can be either interstate or intrastate interstate supply igst intrastate cgst will be levied levied yes or no everyone now once gst is levied once GST is levied, some people went ahead and told, sir, every month taking, uh, collecting GST, taking input, setting off, paying to the government, so much of head headache which is there, sir, can you please give us a simple scheme and the simple scheme which was introduced by the government is known as what everyone? Composition scheme, simple scheme for people who are basically manufacturer, traders, etc. who are doing less business, small business ke liye. Are we clear everyone? And GST ka levy was under section number 9 and section number 5. Now for whenever your goods and services are being supplied, government went ahead and told for some people, we will go ahead and give composition levy also. Are we clear everyone? And composition levy scheme was drafted under section number 10. Let's get it started with composition levy. Everyone over here, because of coming of GST, this person ka situation was like this saying sir take output set of input then pay the remaining to the government too much of headache is there government told baba don't worry we'll go ahead and give you a simple scheme government told him that okay we will give this simple scheme to only people who are small now according to government who are considered as small whose last year ka turnover aggregate turnover in the preceding financial year is up to 1.5 crore or don't cut anything unless i tell you okay everyone so 1.5 crore or 75 lakh and when you go ahead and see last year turnover of a person, always remember one thing, you have to go ahead and exclude what everyone? Interest and discount. Interest and discount has to be always excluded. Baba, only for the purpose of composition, I'm telling you. So, can you tell me who are the people eligible for composition? First of all, whose last year turnover? People, last year turnover is up to 1.5 crore or 75 lakh. Can I go ahead everyone? Then, so 1.5 crore or 75 lakh, then in the current financial year, you will be eligible for a scheme up to 1.5 crore or 75 lakh in the current year. Don't cut anything unless I tell you. Okay? Then, up, you can go ahead and take an option. It means you can go for normal levy also, take ITC, charge GST, etc. Or you can go for composition scheme also. Now, everyone listen to me very carefully. Who are the people for whom 75 lakh is applicable and who are the people for whom 1.5 crore is applicable? Okay, I used to go ahead. I went ahead and thought how to remember it. One ICI may I was teaching. One student came and told, sir, it should be mental hoja. Okay, everyone. So, I told, okay. Then he told, sir, we'll make it mentus hoja. It is like mental hoja. I'm like, you know, no mental mental hoja type he went ahead and told okay mental hoja type I told, I told okay fine then we adopted this so what is the full form sir everyone over here please come to mantas what is mantas m for meghalaya mizoram meghalaya manipur see baba learning is one thing remembering is the person who wins the game in the exam and to remember it's a war do whatever you want are you guys getting me? See, understanding, conceptual understanding, everything is fine. Everybody understands. But remembering is the next ball game which you will have to pay. If you don't remember, what will you write? Conceptually, you have learned everything. Huh? If you don't remember, how will you write? So, remembering is very important. For every subject, you should apply this, in my opinion. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, M for Mizoram, Meghalaya, Manipur, A for Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, T for Tripura, Uttarakhand and Sikkim. Everyone tell me, M cube is what? Manipur, Mizoram, Meghalaya, A for Arnachal, N for Nagaland, T for Tripura, U for Uttarakhand, S for Sikkim. Always remember for this, what will always be applicable? 75 lakh. So when you are seeing previous year turnover, over 75 lakh has to be seen. And then you have Hoja, H for Himachal, O for other state, J for Jammu and Kashmir, A, A for Assam, are we clear everyone? Sir, everyone always remember one thing. Mentus is a long word. Correct or not? Long word. Hoja is a small word. So, when small word is there, Assam is small word. So, it is included. Arnachal is a long word. So, it is included in the mantas. Okay? Because exams may student get confused. Baba, you should not be getting confused. Mantas, long, Himachal. Comes in 
मैटर्स यू गॉट माई पॉइंट चलो नेक्स्ट एवरी वन ओवर हियर मैंटर्स सेवेंटी फाइव लैक हो जाए इज वन पॉइंट फाइव फ्लोर कैन आई गो हेड एवरी वन नाउ Everyone over here. So if my turnover in the preceding financial year is up to one point five crore or seventy five lakh in the current financial year, I will get an option that I can go for first compound. Okay, 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 first compound. composition scheme i can't go ahead and say for two registration uh, two registration under my pan i'll keep normal one under composition not possible all have to come in together or all have to get out together can i go ahead everyone now who are the people who are eligible for composition scheme i have gone ahead and told if you are a person eligible for composition scheme who are the people eligible mtr baba you know mtr yes baba m for manufacturer trader and restaurant and catering mtr are the people who are eligible for composition scheme now if i go ahead and take composition scheme when i go ahead and take anything from a registered person i will not go ahead and take any itc if i buy anything from a registered person inputs pay no itc when i go ahead and supply i will go ahead and issue no tax so i should charge bill of supply just give a bill never go ahead and give tax invoice and when you give bill of supply you will not charge any tax front party also will not get any credit can i go ahead everyone Always remember one thing: if you are taking nine three wala services, nine four wala services, etc., then boy, you'll never get any. You have to pay GST under RCM at applicable rate, eighteen percent, twelve percent, eighteen percent, five percent, whatever is applicable. You have to pay GST under RCM at applicable rate, and you will not get any ITC also. What did I tell you till now? If my turnover in the preceding financial year is up to one point five crore, seventy five lakh, in the current financial year, I will get an option. to take composition scheme correct everyone i have to take pan wise all india basis together when uh, you know what if you go ahead and revise with me you will remember everything in the exam everyone over here now now who are the people eligible mtr these people cannot take any itc cannot charge any tax are we clear everyone and these people whenever they take services under 93 wala jo reverse charge wala service hai that they have to pay gst at applicable rate can i go ahead everyone Always remember one thing: a manufacturer always pays GST, zero point five percent of the turnover. Whatever is the turnover in the state, total turnover card they pay zero point five percent CGST and zero point five percent SGST. Trader pays zero point five percent and zero point five percent not of the turnover. Tax. Taxable turnover on which GST is there. Remember one thing: for an example, if I tell you uh, the turnover of a person, everyone over here, if I go ahead and tell you taxable turnover, taxable turnover of a person on which supposingly 18% gst is actually there is 10 lakh rupees an exempt turnover of a person on which 0% gst is there it is being exempted supposingly and that is supposingly 5 lakh rupees means the total turnover of a person is how much 15 lakh rupees if i am a manufacturer on what amount i will pay 15 lakh if i am a trader on what amount i will pay 10 lakhs if i am a restaurant on what amount i will pay turnover 15 lakh are we clear everyone remember turnover manufacturer pays on turnover restaurant pays On turnover, but a trader only pays on turnover of the supplies. Those are taxable. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now you will tell sir, taxable supplies includes exempt supply also. But Baba, remember one thing: for he understand the feeling. Traders told we will pay only on those turnover on which tax is there. Can we go ahead, everyone? Now always remember whatever GST they have to pay. They it's their own obligation. They cannot collect it from the. customer are we all 100% clear till here now the right hand side if you go ahead and see over here these are the people who are ineligible are we clear everyone ineligible people i go ahead and call them m i n e s mines okay everyone we go ahead and call them mines always remember one thing mines may m means manufacturer if you are a manufacturer of pan masala p a aerated water i for ice cream and other edible ice and t for tobacco then always remember p a i t pan masala people with me pan masala aerated water ice cream and tobacco now what happened government went ahead and added some more things also and government told government told that these people also if they are a manufacturer of fly as bricks ayyo where are we fly as bricks fly as block or fly as aggregate and fly as aggregate but what do you mean by fly as i'll tell you simple 
when you burn one stick what will happen ash will be there that is always flying sitting on the head somewhere that is known as fly ash are you guys able to understand that gray color wala that is fly ash out of the fly ash also bricks are made gray color ka bricks you getting my point that is known as fly ash are we clear everyone and that fly ash aggregates which are there no earlier it was told if you are a manufacturer of fly ash aggregates with 90% or more fly ash content only then you will be ineligible are we clear now what people did 85% then i'll be eligible fly ash content is 85% then i am eligible people reduce the content little so government told hey wait we will make it what fly ash aggregates ka manufacture ineligible and hence government deleted this word with 90% or more fly ash content are we clear now all fly ash amendment the only amendment in composition all fly ash brick ka manufacturer aggregate ka manufacturer or blocks ka manufacturer who are making this fly ash brick blocks will be ineligible for what composition scheme can i go ahead everyone baba remember the next one over here is bricks of fossil meal or similar siliceous earth yellow color ka bricks are made out of the mountain theek hai everyone those you leave as of now you just understand it's a brick which is made out of what similar siliceous earth fossil meals etc means those fossil remains in the mountain which are there those bricks are also those people are also ineligible and building bricks those brown color ka bricks those people are also ineligible and earthen or roofing tile yeah baba roofing tiles are there no roof mein you will see tiles which are being fitted brown color ka tiles those earth ka made two tiles which are there earthen or roofing tiles which are there also people will be ineligible for composition scheme tell me one thing i am a trader in panmasa eligible or ineligible remember manufacturers are ineligible traders are always eligible can i go ahead everyone manufacturers of p a i t pan masala aerated water ice cream tobacco then fly as bricks fly as blocks or fly as aggregate you call it whatever you want bricks of fossil meal or similar siliceous earth then building bricks and earthen or roofing tile also will be ineligible if you are a interstate outward supplier of goods or service interstate whether you are doing taxable supply exam supply whatever government is selling interstate suppliers are always ineligible the next one over here is n for non taxable goods or service ka supplier as of now non taxable goods can you tell me what are the non taxable goods under gst alcoholic liquor for human consumption baba and hp man correct everyone those people are also ineligible then nrtp or ctp is also ineligible supplying goods or service through e-commerce if you are a person who is supplying through e-commerce and e-commerce is going to deduct what tcs remember you will be ineligible for composition scheme and the last one is service providers are also ineligible everyone are we all 100% clear till here now listen to me very carefully one problem came now one problem came first problem which came service providers are ineligible right everyone service providers are ineligible for composition scheme it means if i go ahead and give someone money to use and receive interest it's an exempt service but service providers are ineligible so if i put, if i am a trader am i eligible for composition normally yes but i put money in the bank account and received interest service provider also i am giving money to use to someone and receiving interest is an exempt supply of service service providers are ineligible are you guys able to understand and hence government went ahead and told even if your turnover may there is interest income then also government went ahead and told over here see over here that is what government told that if you are checking eligibility please exclude interest or discount ka income can i go ahead everyone see here now theek hai you understood interest wala point government told interest you ignore even if you have interest income still we will consider you as goods ka supplier only and we will not go ahead and say you are ineligible because service providers were made ineligible service providers were made ineligible but even if i am giving money and receiving interest which is an exempt supply of service only that that category you have to remember even though i am giving money and receiving interest it's an exempt supply but still i'll be eligible for composition scheme can i go ahead everyone first point now what happened people went ahead and told sir i am a manufacturer of television but sometime what happens people come and give the television and they say sir television may there is some problem can you repair and give so sir little bit services also we provide government told only one exempt supply of service which was interest wala income was allowed now if you are giving other services you are ineligible but then people told sir just imagine tv manufacturer mobile manufacturers 
हु आर गोइंग अहेड एंड सेलिंग मोबाइल फोन टीवी एक्सेट्रा लिटिल बिट टू सर्विसेज दे विल गिव तो गवर्नमेंट ट्वेंटी एड एंड टोल अलॉन्ग विथ योर मैनुफेक्चरिंग का टर्न ओवर रेस्टोरेंट का टर्न ओवर एंड योर ट्रेडिंग का टर्न ओवर यू आर अलाउड टू गिव लिटिल लिटिल सर्विसेज ऑल्सो आर वी क्लियर इंटरेस्ट इनकम इज देयर ओके नो प्रॉब्लम but other than that government went ahead and told if you are a manufacturer trader restaurant you are allowed to supply services of 10% of the turnover in state or union territory baba it in the preceding financial year whatever is your turnover or 5 lakh whichever is higher everyone listen to me very carefully i'll tell you so here i have told even though you are a service provider service provider other than restaurant restaurant is allowed all service providers are ineligible but only restaurant was allowed then government told even if you are providing 10% of the turnover or 5 lakh whichever is higher then also you will be allowed under composition scheme everyone can you tell me what did i tell you till now i told if your last year ka turnover is up to people with me 1.5 crore or 75 lakh 75 lakh mantas 1.5 crore ho ja in exam remember full forms then in the current financial year up to a turnover of 1.5 crore or 75 lakh you will be eligible for composition scheme correct or not everyone if you are eligible for composition scheme what will you do mtr baba pan wise all india basis to up together mtr is eligible m pays 0.5 0.5% of turnover trader pays 0.5 0.5 of the taxable turnover restaurant pays 0.5 0.5 of the turnover it's your own obligation can't collect can't take itc reverse charge pay applicable rate and whatever is to be paid has to be paid out of your own pocket are we clear people ineligible mines manufacturer of pait along with that i told you bricks ply as brick bricks of fossil mill similar silicious earth ka bricks or building bricks or earthen and roofing tile manufacturers manufacturer ineligible then i told you if i am a i for interstate outward can i take interstate that is okay outward is ineligible and for non taxable goods ka supplier and for nrtp or ctp e for person supplying through e commerce if e commerce is going to deduct tcs then you are ineligible as for service provider but service provider mein restaurant is allowed and if you are supplying little little services then also you are allowed sir can you tell me how to calculate this little little services yes baba i'll tell you listen you have to see your preceding financial year ka turnover supposingly this is 2021 and you are taking in 21 22 whether you are eligible for composition scheme or not remember of your turnover you have to see for an example i was there in the state of karnataka also i was there in the state of delhi also here my turnover was supposingly 60 lakh rupees here my turnover was 60 lakh rupees my first first question to you guys what is the limit applicable for karnataka and delhi quickly tell me 1.5 crore supposingly it was karnataka and arunachal pradesh lower limit will apply 1.5 or 75 lower limit will apply okay everyone now here i am going ahead and telling am i eligible first of all yes if you are eligible then you can provide little little services how much do you mean by little little services 10% of this turnover how much is 10% 6 lakh or 5 lakh which is higher 6 lakh so in the current year i can provide 6 lakh of services in karnataka and in delhi how much i can provide 6 lakh because it says 10% of turnover it does not say aggregate turnover ka 10% every state wise you will have to see so supposingly it was 40 lakh over here then 4 lakh or 5 lakh which is higher right. it means in delhi i can provide 5 lakh this year and in karnataka i can provide 6 lakh i'll give you one more example listen listen people listen people who will listen in the class go home and practice question answer baba 100% pass 100% you will get 60 people who will not practice at home 40 you will get 100% total aggregate 160 okay. ठीक है एवरीवन हियर नाउ लिसन 21 22 22 23 ओके यू फर्स्ट हैव टू टेल मी एम आई एलिजिबल और नॉट आई हैड रजिस्ट्रेशन इन कर्नाटक एंड आई हैड रजिस्ट्रेशन इन सपोजिंगली दिल्ली ठीक है दिल्ली का टर्नओवर ओवर हियर सपोजिंगली दिल्ली में आई मेड गुड्स का सप्लाई व्हिच इज 50 लाख रुपीस इंटरेस्ट इनकम आल्सो कर्नाटक में इंटरेस्ट इनकम आल्सो 10 लाख रुपीस दिल्ली में आई हैड 70 लाख रुपीस इंटरेस्ट इनकम 20 लाख रुपीस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कैन यू टेल मी माय एग्रीगेट टर्नओवर फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ चेकिंग whether i am eligible or not will be what 50 plus 70 how much 1.2 cr am i eligible suppose this was 30 lakh still am i eligible you don't have to see interest income always remember exclude interest 
or discount kind come when you are checking eligibility are we clear first of all is this point clear now the next point is if i am eligible yes i am eligible my turnover is only 1.2 crore interest and interest i will not see correct everyone are we all 100% clear i am not able to listen yes yes everyone yes people sitting at home yes chalo now you tell me one thing now how much ka services i can give 10 percent 10 percent of what last year ka turnover karnataka ka turnover you tell me government told if i give you 60 lakh ka 10 percent then it will be six or five whichever is higher government told interest has to be excluded please take turnover as 50 50 ka means 5 lakh or 5 lakh whichever is higher 5 lakh are we clear everyone it will not be 60 ka 10 percent the next one here how much will you take don't take 7 lakh or 5 lakh whichever is higher i hope people are clear today if you go home and practice the concept will get locked if you don't practice the concept will be flying after some days it will fly away can i go ahead everyone here now Chalo. it says after calculating 10 percent now tell me one thing when i got 5 lakh rupees ka services i can provide or here's uh how much 7 lakh ka services i can provide in this 7 lakh or 5 lakh also if supposingly i have interest income of 10 lakh rupees this year but don't take this is purely other services other than interest income interest income is also service correct or not but they are telling this 5 lakh may or this 7 lakh may after you have calculated also 7 lakh will be supposingly i am repairing tv also tv repairing done for 5 lakh rupees interest income 10 lakh don't consider that interest income in this 7 lakh or 5 lakh are we clear everyone that is what is being told after calculating exclude interest or discount in the current year also are we all 100 percent clear can we go ahead people quickly tell me are you clear till here more example or got it why are people so slow louder everyone okay everyone people watching at home you have to give me a thumbs up to so that i can know that you got it everyone over here now that's it everyone people what did we learn in the preceding financial year my turnover is up to over chapter my turnover is up to 1.5 crore or 75 lakh then in the current year i'll get an option to pay under composition scheme up to 1.5 crore or 75 lakh correct everyone if i get an option pan wise all india to be opted together if i get an option option is for MTR, Manufacturer Trader Restaurant, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 percent of taxable turnover, 0 0.5 percent, 0 0.5 percent of the turnover. Own obligation, can't collect and pay. Can't collect, can't take ITC. Who are the people in, in, ineligible? MINES. Are we clear, everyone? Manufacturer, interstate, outward supplier, and for people talk. NRTP, CTP, non taxable. Goods or service, E for person supplying through e-commerce who will deduct TCS and S for service provider. Service provider other than restaurant and catering, other than 10% or 5 lakh, whichever is. Are we clear everyone? Can I go ahead? If I cross 10% or 5 lakh, whichever is higher than ineligible. One entity ineligible, all pan wise, all ineligible. Can I go ahead everyone? Now, everyone over here. Now what happened? How much services I can provide? 10% of 5 lakh, whichever is higher. Now, what happened? Some people, if you are a started accountant, went and told the government, Sir, what wrong? We have done. No composition scheme for us. Correct? We are also small people only. Do something. So, government went ahead and told, Okay, for service provider, or purely not for service provider, or if you are a person who is ineligible under section number 10 1, or you are ineligible under section number 10 2, government made section number 10 to A. So, might be you are ineligible under 10 1 as a manufacturer, trader, restaurant, might be you are providing more services. You are allowed only 10% or 5 lakh, you are providing more services. Or, sorry, Baba, restaurant ke liye, I told 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Nonsense, you have to tell me. No, students are telling 2.5 and 2.5, Baba. Thik hai? Restaurant is 2.5 and 2.5. Baba, whatever mistakes are there, you have to tell me. Thik hai? It's not that whatever I told is final. Everyone over here now, listen to me very carefully. 10 1 if you are ineligible as a manufacturer trader student or mines may if you are ineligible then please come to section number 10 to a which went ahead and told if your everything remains same if your last year turnover is up to 50 lakh now it is up to 50 lakh excluding interest then in the current year up to what limit 50 lakh you will be eligible to take section number 10 to a are we clear everyone it says over here we're sitting here 
I just now realized, okay. No, because I've been seeing here. Now I realized, okay, he's here. Take it. You're getting everything? No. Yes, sir. You're out of the frame. You come here instead tomorrow, okay. Chalo, everyone over here now. Section number 10 to A is an option to register person with aggregate turnover less than 50 lakh in the preceding financial year. You will have to exclude interest and discount. And you are ineligible under 10 1 and 10 2. Then Baba, please pay 6%. Will you pay 3% and 3%? Or will you want to be under 10 1? You will be always wanting to be under 10 1. But if you are ineligible as a manufacturer, ineligible as a trader, or ineligible as a restaurant, please come to 10 2 A. Or if you are only providing services, then also you can come to 10 2 A. But you have to pay 3% CDST and 3% SDST of your turnover in the state. Remember, state wise, you have to pay. Can I go ahead, everyone? The next one. When you are taking turnover in the state and you are paying, always remember you have to exclude. Last year also exclude. Current year also exclude. Everywhere. Exclude interest or discount. You know what? What is the condition over here? This is allowed for whom? Service provider. So, condition is if you are M-I-N-E ineligible. M for manufacturer of pan masala, aerated water, ice cream, tobacco. Correct everyone. Then that breaks, etc. Then I for interstate outward supplier, N for non taxable goods, NRTP, CTP, and E for person supplying through e commerce who is going to deduct TCS. Baba, if they would have written S also over here, the scheme is only for service providers, scheme would have failed. Are we clear, everyone? Can I go ahead? I'll close over here. Not everything, but here the main part closes. Now, procedural part. Sir, how will I go ahead and pay? You have to pay every quarter by 18th by filing what CMP0. 8, you will have to file GSTR 4 annually by what date everyone? 30th April. So, every quarter, whatever is your turnover, every quarter by 18th, you have to go ahead and pay that 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5 or 3 and 3. Got it? Yes, then, sir, annually you have to go ahead and file one GSTR 4 by 30th of April and their annual return which is GSTR 9A by 31st of December. Sir, whenever you are going ahead and issuing an invoice, Please mention that you are a composition taxable person and you are not eligible. Otherwise, when you are giving it to someone, you will write your GST number and give. Front party will be like, he has written GST number, not charged GST. Why? So, you please don't explain everyone. Write it in your bill only. That sir, I am a composition taxable person. I am not eligible to collect tax on mine. Correct? No, that is only told. Yes. Okay. And also on your head. Head means the notice board. Baba, don't write on your head. On the notice board, you should write that sir, I am a composition taxable person. Are we clear, everyone? Now, listen to me very carefully. Come to the top. Sir, if I want to go under composition scheme, how do I go under composition scheme? They have gone ahead and told, if you are taking new registration, you know what? New registration, when you take, you fill one form, GST REG 01. GST REG 01 has part 1 and part 2. Part B is there. In part B, there is an option which comes thick, saying, I want composition scheme and your composition scheme will. Are we clear, everyone? New, new registration, how will you take? Just tell in your GST REG 01 ka part B and your registration will come as composition scheme. Sir, I want to switch from normal to composition. I want composition scheme. Then they are telling before the year starts, before the year starts, you have to file an intimation prior to the, see new, new registration if you are taking in between the year also you can take composition. If you want to get inside composition, they are telling you can get in at the beginning of the year. Just before the beginning of the year, one form will be available online. You have to go ahead and file that form which is CMP02. Remember one thing, if you file CMP02 before the beginning of the year, 1st of April onwards, you are under composition scheme. Are we clear everyone? No ITC charge, no charge output tax, pay 1%, 1%, 5% or 6%. Remember, can I go ahead everyone? Now, then it says one intimation pan wise and not state wise. Every state wise you don't have to give. Three registration I have in three state. One place if you file CMP02 over all states under composition. Then everyone, listen to me very carefully. I was under normal scheme. Now I came under composition. Normal scheme I took ITC. Composition scheme I can't take ITC. So whatever ITC I had taken, those stock is remaining with me. Now when I sell, people you are able to understand. When I was under normal scheme, I did not take ITC. I took ITC. Now that stock is lying with me. ITC, aha, enjoy it. Now, stock is lying with me. I will not charge GST. Government is telling if you don't charge GST, whatever ITC you have taken, payback. payback. You're getting my point, everyone? And that is what is being told that when you go ahead and file your GST CMP02 that I want under composition scheme, whatever ITC you have taken, please pay it back. And that is what is being told. File ITC03 within 60 days of the commencement of 
financial year. More discussion on this, we will go ahead and do in section number 18 of our ITC chapter. Can I go ahead everyone? Now, I am carrying on composition scheme in between the year, March, uh, December, I, I uh, crossed the turnover. Then what will happen? Baba, now you are a normal person. Take ITC, charge GST. Okay. Sir, I was composition scheme. I did not take ITC. Now I am under normal scheme. Whatever stock is lying with me, I will charge GST and sell. But I did not take ITC. Do you guys agree with me? So whatever that stock is lying with you, on that, whatever GST you had paid, because now you are under composition, whatever ITC you did not take, now you can take it. Baba, that is what is being told. That sir, supposingly you cross the threshold limit. Baba, in between, if you cross the threshold limit or voluntarily, if you want to get out, getting out, government is very happy. Whenever you want, get out. Are we clear? Or you violate any condition and become ineligible. You are now a normal person. In between the year also, if it happens, you are a normal person now. Please take ITC and issue tax invoice. Are we all 100% clear till here? Then, now tell me one thing. Next year, what you will be? Because you have already gone ahead and crossed the threshold limit, supposedly. Normal. Can I go ahead, everyone? Now, once you go ahead and become ineligible, you have to go online and file one form. Suomoto, you have to go online and file one form. CMP04 saying, sir, to get in, CMP02. To get out, CMP04. Within how many days, everyone? Seven days. And in case of self withdrawal, see, once you become ineligible, seven days may. But self withdrawal, the government is telling, what are you waiting for? Correct or not? See, if event happened, ineligible, you did one interstate supply, event happened, within 7 days you file. But self-withdrawal ka case may, before the date of such withdrawal, you will have to file CMP04. Now, whatever goods are lying with you, when you were composition, you did not take ITC. Capital goods pay, you did not take the ITC. But you now want, want the ITC. How to take whatever credit you did not take, file online, one form, GST ITC 0. Are we clear everyone? More discussion in section number 18 we will be going ahead and doing and this has to be filed within 30 days from when the option is withdrawn. Are we clear? Now, Baba, this, this point which is there is connected over here. Section number 10.5 says, supposingly you are a person who is doing interstate supply but still you took composition scheme. Ah ha ha. Aram se paying only 1%. Government is telling you are doing interstate supply, you are ineligible. Why did you take composition scheme? So, government went ahead and told, if you are a person who is ineligible but still you are taking composition scheme, your goods pay rate of GST was 18% and you are paying only 1%. If officer catches you, he will first issue a CMP 0 five SOCOS notice, you have to reply within 15 days and now officer will decide and let you know whether you can continue. If you can continue, continue. If officer is angry that you have done some wrong thing, you should have paid 18% because you are not eligible for composition, but you took composition scheme, then officer will tell Ramesh, listen, denial order he will pass, he will deny composition scheme over here. Either he will allow if everything is fine or he will deny. Once he denies, then Baba, now, you have to go ahead and file ITC 01 within 30 days from the date of such order. Baba, you have to pay back. You have to take the ITC now, no? Yes, Are we clear, everyone? And you know what he will demand from you? 18% you should have paid. You are paying only 1% might be. 17% plus whatever interest is there. That is by default plus penalty also he will go ahead and recover. And for that, he will apply 73 and 74 means what, everyone? Demand order. Are we all clear till here, everyone? Now, when he is denying composition, he can deny composition from the date of when you are taking the option, might be your, if you are ineligible when you took it also, or from the date of contravention. Can I go ahead, everyone? Please come on the left hand side. It says, now CMP02 I filed and I went inside composition. Now, every year, do I have to file CMP02 to be in composition? No. But once you file, till you become ineligible or till you file CMP04 and get out, composition scheme will continue. It says over here, intimation CMP02 not required to be filed every year to continue under composition. Always remember one thing, when you are going ahead and checking whether you are eligible for composition scheme or not, what do you check? Aggregate turnover or turnover yeah. of preceding financial year? Yeah. Aggregate turnover. To check eligibility, you check aggregate turnover. When you have to pay? Turnover. turnover. Over here. When you are checking ap applicability, whether composition scheme, are you eligible or not? You check aggregate turnover, pan-wise aggregate turnover, but payment should always be state-wise, compliances, returns, etc. always is state-wise. Are we all 100% clear till here? Can we go ahead? Baba, last point of the day over here, I'll go ahead and ask you, you tell me, for determining tax payable, people tell me one thing, 21, 22, take everyone, I will go ahead and tell you, for the example, 21, 22, I started my business, 
up to what limit 40 lakh rupees i don't have to take registration only correct everyone supposingly here my turnover was 40 lakh rupees okay everyone here my turnover is 60 lakh rupees okay everyone supposingly here i had some interest income of 20 lakh rupees also can i go ahead everyone first of all tell me what is my aggregate turnover to check eligibility 60 lakh plus 40 lakh or only 60 lakh or 60 40 plus 20 you're getting my point when i am checking my eligibility whether i am eligible for composition or not this is first of april first of april this is a date i become liable for registration so till here 40 lakh was there here how much 60 lakh plus interest income 20 lakh can you tell me aggregate turnover to check eligibility for registration sure how many of you people watching at home one crore yes, sir. hey pick up your hand quickly one crore yes, Dipali, madam. 60 lakh. Okay. See here. For determining eligibility, aggregate turnover shall include. See, what does it say? 1st April up to the date of becoming liable and hence 60 lakhs. Along with that, you have to include 1st April up to the date of becoming liable, 40 lakh. But exclude from aggregate turnover, exclude interest or discount and you have to exclude an 1 crore. Congratulations, people. You got it, everyone. Now. Are we clear? When you check aggregate turnover. Now my question over here is, when you are going ahead and checking your turnover for determining tax payable. Now you tell me one thing. Supposingly, if I go ahead and ask you in the same question, last year on what amount you would have paid the tax? Supposingly, you went under composition scheme last year. This year when you are checking eligibility 22-23, you will see aggregate turnover of the last year. But last year, if you are under composition scheme, supposingly, last year on what turnover you would have paid the tax? Sure. Why? Because, sir, first 40 lakh, though, you will not pay any tax only. Because up to 40 lakh, you are a small person. You are not required registration only. Now, supposingly, here you took registration as composition dealer. Then on what amount you will pay the tax? Interest, we will pay the tax? No. 40 lakh? You are not liable for registration only and hence you would have paid tax only on 60 lakh and that is what is being told aggregate turnover for tax payable turnover in the state shall exclude supplies from 1st April up to the date of becoming liable and from the turnover in state also exclude interest or discount. Is my point 100% clear? Can I ask you one more time everyone? Will you guys tell me? Chalo. 21, 22, 23. Okay, everyone. If I go ahead and tell you over here, this is the date of becoming liable. Here turnover is 40 lakh rupees. Here turnover is 80 lakh rupees. Interest income is 20 lakh rupees. Can you tell me everyone? Till what? Uh, okay. If you want to check, first of all, eligibility. What is your aggregate turnover? 80 plus 40, 1.2 crore. Aggregate turnover is 1.2 crore. My question to you guys. Will you include this also in your aggregate turnover to check eligibility? Yes. So, are you eligible in the current year? Yes. Now, if I go ahead and tell you, in last year, on what turnover you would have paid the tax under composition scheme? You will exclude interest also. You will exclude 1st April up to the date of becoming liable also. And you will pay on 80 lakh rupees. I hope you guys got it, everyone. I have gone ahead and written the difference between basic uh, normal scheme and normal scheme. Section number 9, composition. Section number then normal rate is 5%, 12%, 18%, 28%. Composition rate is how much everyone? 1, 1, 5 and say 10 to A is 6. Then our monthly return, 20th of next month. Quarterly, it is not return over here. You have to do payment. When do you do a payment? When you file the return over here. Here when you are filing quarterly CMP 0, 8. The next one, return, monthly return and annual return. Here return is GSTR 4 and annual return is 9A. Document is tax invoice and here you issue bill of supply. Here ITC can avail. Here ITC cannot be availed. You just pay in. Yes. Congratulations people. B graded chapter. In my opinion, for your exam purpose, you should remember MTR 10-1. You should remember 10-2. You should remember 10-2A. And Baba, this calculation which I told you, you know, Baba, 10% of the turnover, etc. Right? This calculation. And the last one for determining tax payable. These calculations are very important. I told you one part is MTR is allowed. 
Correct everyone. How much of the last year turnover? 10% of 5 lakh. That calculation. Secondly, this one. How to determine aggregate turnover and how to determine turnover for paying tax. Thirdly, you should also remember mines. Fourthly, you should remember MTR also. Who are the people eligible? And Baba 10 to A also you should remember. Now, people who will go home, practice question answers will be a win-win person. Are we clear everyone? The more you practice, the better it is going to be. People watching at home, please practice question answers. Please practice question answers. If you don't practice, so much effort will go in vain. Right everyone? I'll close my discussion over here. Have a great day everyone. Take care. Bye guys. If you solve question answers today, you will see you are so able to solve all of them. If you solve it after one week, you will feel down. Right? So start solving now. Bye guys. Take care.